When I'm driving along in Frank, my luxurious 1992 Toyota Camry, which is equipped with a state-of-the-art tape deck that eats tapes and malfunctioning automatic door locks, when a lady old enough to be Larry King's grandmother pulls out in front of me at the last minute and goes 17 in a 35. I roll my eyes, I get frustrated, the person behind me starts tailgating me and giving me dirty looks, and even Larry is heckling his grandmother from the sidewalk, making threatening gestures with his suspenders. Things like this are a common occurrence on the road, although it may be worse here due to most residents likely taking driver's ed from their pet cow. But here are some other things that really annoy me. People who drive like idiots in the snow. There aren't any snow plows here, which I think is a ploy by the community to create late night entertainment apart from the brawls in the parking lot at Target between guys who think they're gangsters. Carlton Banks really has more street cred than these guys, and sweeter sweater vests. But in the winter here, cars have a harder time going in a straight line than Lindsay Lohan at 3 p.m. There are two types of people that get really bad when it comes to ice on the road. You have tailgaters who think that going 25 and a 35 is much too slow, and they have to get on the tail of a person driving like they don't want to get into an accident in front of them. I figure that they have three motivators here. There are contestants on the new Fox show who wants to jack up their insurance premiums. They want a semi as a hood ornament, or they have a special case of road rage that is exacerbated by not enough idiots on the road. Then you have the opposite side. When it starts snowing, the roads aren't even wet, and somebody decides they need to go 12. There might not be ice now, but there will be by the time they get to their destination across town, which by their current speed will probably take about five hours. Another thing that annoys me is people not letting you pass. You're behind someone going 25 and 35 in normal driving conditions. You go to the passing lane, and the other driver has a sudden NASCAR Tourette's attack, and they speed up to 40, then 45. So when you get back, assuming that they'll keep that speed, but no, they resume 25 once you get behind them. You make the attempt again, and then they start going nearly 50. You get back, they resume going 25. They're either messing with you, they're afraid you'll get level with them and will be the victim of the first drive-by in Cowtown history. Or their car is only capable of speeds up to 50 and they're showing off. Either way, at times like this, I wish that we had Mario Kart weapons and you could throw a shell right at them. And then get in front and put bananas behind you. And the last thing that really annoys me is people blatantly disobeying rules of the road. Oh, I'm turning left at a light and I have no green arrow and you're going straight in the opposite direction with a right of way. I'm pulling out in front of you. My car is bigger than yours, so... And of course you have the people who are indecisive. Am I turning left at the light or am I going straight? I'll just sit in both lanes so that no matter what choice I make, I'll be okay. Oh, wait, I want to turn left. I'm going to that lane. Who cares if someone's coming? So you slam on your brakes to narrowly avoid being hit by them trying to get into that lane. But they're oblivious with their... I drive like a colon bumper sticker. I'm not sure what that means. Do, do they get sparkly when they drive? Do they look really constipated when they drive? Or do they just really hate dogs when they drive? Should I warn the person walking their lab in front of them? In summary, life would be better if we all just took horses and buggies. But then we'd have horse and buggy rage, and there would be I ride like Dracula decals on the horse's butt.